Hello! Monsters are bound here. Welcome... Is that a guinea pig I can hear? Anyway, Monsters are bound here. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires and a brand new campaign for Patreon supporters. But of course, everyone gets to see the first episode. Only then do I jack up the price. What a tinker I am. So, the Patreons picked the vampire counts and then picked Gorst because... I, I think it's it's fairly I think it's fairly understood that Gorse is probably one of the most interesting vampire counts now, which is certainly a turn up for the books for the Necromancer. Well, I I would say prune lord personally, you little little pruny face. Look at this. Little pruny man. Um so we've got we've got Martin here. Lovely Martin Gregovich. Martin Grekovich is determined, which is good to know. Uh, I mean, actually, for for the undead, determined isn't the worst thing to have. Because, of course, when they get sad, they just start dropping dead of their own accord. So it's nice to have a little bit of extra leadership, actually, for these guys. Um, let's pop him into Gorst's army. Gorst's army, which is mostly Zombles, because he is the Zomble King, apparently. He has now this this is what I quite liked. This is what I quite liked. So Gorst's special skills are basically bonuses for one himself. I mean normally attack and defense is fine, I guess. Um, but also for Zombles. So he gets 12 attack for Zombles, all armies faction wide. That's nice. What I like is the fact that Gorst increases like all armies faction wide. Because there's so many lords that just go, This unit's only for me. But he's like, no, everyone gets... He's the sharing lord. He's like, no, everyone gets super zombies. It's like getting socks for Christmas, isn't it? Um, but also, ward save and extra battle healing cap. And also, the ability to get ravenous dead, which means that in melee combat, they get 40 health per second, which is fucking insane. That's bonkers. And we also get Van Hal's dance... We got... got Points of Von Hal's Dance Macabre, which is a, a really nice spell, which increases melee attack by 24. Now, if you have a lot of Zombles and you, you slap Van Hal's Dance Macabre on them, they're actually going to be semi-decent. How much strength? How much weapon strength? Okay, they don't have a lot of weapon strength, to be fair. Uh, two armor-piercing damage. It's it's not great. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll roll with it. We'll see how it goes. We start off at the Haunted Forest. Uh, I guess people just hadn't had enough of, of Cathay and... And is it the no? It's not the Badlands, is it? Desolation? Is it Desolation? Des I think it's. I think this is sort of like this general area. I think is called the Desolation. So that's the World's Edge Mountains. These are the whatever the fuck these mountains are. Mountains of Morn. That's it. And I think this is a Desolation in between. So Gorst, right? Well, we'll we'll start off, I guess, by slowly meandering over here, where we have some Skaven, who apparently are our first enemies. So we'll go and uh, bop the... I mean, they've got clan rats. We've got zombies. It, it's a fairly even matchup. First battle of the campaign. It's got that new campaign battle smell, which smells like, I don't know, gone off roast beef. There's ghosts, of course, with his brothers pulling his, uh, his old corpse cart there? Why wouldn't you want a cart full of corpses just in case you're peckish? It's like bringing your packed lunch with you, isn't it? Lovely. Good. Okay, and then we've got the Mortis engine here. This is going to be fairly pivotal to the battle plan because while the Zombles will be able to keep the enemy in place, they can't do any damage, whereas the Mortis engine just has an aura whenever it's in melee combat that will deal damage to everyone around them. Same with Gorst as well. He is basically a Mortis engine, just a slow one. And there's Martin. Getting stuck in against some clan rats. Good job, Martin. Already killing eight of them. Nice work. Holy shit. Good, good vermin killing. Up to 12. You got this mine. You didn't. That's just, just whapped him around the head. Never mind. Okay, the Zombles are standing firm. Well, wobbling slightly on their feet. Here come the rats. Everyone's wondering how I'm doing this, controlling the battle, and also using 
a nice little cinematic camera there. It's because I'm actually recording the replay. I fight the battle and then I record the replay. This campaign's on very hard campaign difficulty with hard nor with hard battle difficulty. And if you want to know how I get the camera so smooth, go into the options. You turn cinematic smoothing all the way down. Yes, no, it doesn't make any fucking sense, but there we go. It's if you turn the cinematic smoothing all the way up, it doesn't. It, it's like you turn it, the, the the slider seems to be the one way around. I don't fucking know. I've, I've flagged it with them, and they just seem to be, like, I don't know, happy with it? it seems either, either it's, like, nigh on impossible to change for them, or they just don't give a shit. I don't know. But it's one of those things where I imagine a lot of people go, Oh, cinematic smoothing. Yeah, I'll turn that up to make this make the camera glide a little bit. It looks very nice. And uh, then they go, oh, it's a bit jerky, but I guess that's the best they can do. No, you just need to turn it all the way fucking down. Try that. See how that works. They are spawning in some more clan rats, but we can spawn in some zombies. That's right. Two can play at this game. Admittedly, the clan rats are slightly better than the zombies. Although, to be fair, the zombies do have a shit ton more health. And of course, that poison is quite nice as well, which means that all of these, all of these uh, clan rats are only hitting us with 15 weapon strength. I mean, we only have uh, 18 ourselves, but still, I'll take it. Zombies. Well, you can't. You can't. Well, they're just they're very juicy, aren't they? They're just squirting juice all over the place. I love it. They're not even dead. It's just going running around with his head off. Which must be cheating, because I just thought, like, you know, you have to take a zombie's head off, and then he, he's dead. But I guess these zombies are just magic, so they can they can run around without their heads on. All Empire zombies as well. Okay, we are taking a little bit of fire. Of course, is uh, weathering a little bit of fire there, but he does he does have very good regeneration himself because he he has regeneration, so that's 0.10. He then gives himself another 0.10 regeneration there, and then he has Master of the Dead, which is 0. 0. So basically, he, he he himself is getting 0. 0.25 health per second, just without any other bonuses. That's just him. That's just him, baby. These clan rats are looking a little bit surrounded. They're not having a good time. Meanwhile, on the other flank, we do actually have some, some killer units. We have a couple of units of Crypt Horrors and some ghouls who do have a little bit more killing power. So we've used them to wipe out some of the gutter runners. And our zombies are just running, scaven down all over the place. They did have some Eshin triads. But fortunately, the Mortis engine, you can see 90, 97 kills there because it's just as damage to everyone around it. So you just chuck it into a big blob. It does need to be melee combat. But as long as it's melee combat, it'll just be killing everyone around it at the same time and healing itself and everyone around it as well. Not to mention it also increased Winds of Magic by 0.40, I think, which is basically like Arcane Conduit. So you've basically got another Arcane Conduit. Does that stack? Because if so, we should have like three Mortis engines in my army. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Well, the Skaven are in full retreat. Our first battle's won. Well, I say full retreat. Their general's still there. But that's fine. He's now surrounded. And his uh, elite bodyguard, the Eshin Triads, are getting liquidized. Some of the battles might might tend to be a little bit on the slow sides. Uh, do we want elite zombies? I mean, yes is the answer. I kind of want more. Oh, armor of fortune already. Look at that. Nice, nice little doobie. What's that? You know, what? I should have raised. I forgot we could raise deads. Let's raise deads. There we go. There we go. Now we could head back, but to be honest, I think we're just going to head for Nobly no Nobly Gorge. Love a good knobbly gorge. Right, is there anyone we can do some deals with? What about quick deals? I'm going to ignore you. Because I feel like maybe people are going to kill you. So I'm just going to assume you're... We're not going to do any deals. Not not yet. Not yet. We're going to get the Book of Arkhan. Because, of course, upkeep reduction for Zombles. Who I believe should be already fairly cheap. 90. That's fairly cheap. I mean... Uh, what growth do we have here? 35. 
Okay, we did get a little bit of extra growth from that, so that's fine. It's still going to take us like four fucking turns, but we do get a little thing. Okay, so we can do more growth construction for... Yes, let's do that. My puppet's done. Let's do that. Right, Flayed Rock is somewhere? I think it's over here somewhere. So we kind of want to capture this. Then we want to deal with... Uh, well, do we want to deal... Could we be friends with Kugath? No, we've got a bigger version to them. <laughs> oh, because Nurgle doesn't like the undead, does he? Like, Chaos in general don't like the undead. Because it's a bit like undeath is stagnant and Chaos is about, like, you know, fucking change. I mean, Zinch is change, right? But Chaos is about sort of mut mutability. Whereas the undead are very like, no, we're just static. Okay, let's go and grab Nobbly Gorge. No, no doubt there's going to be some... Some... Some what you call it. Some, well, you've, you've got Armor of Fortune. Do I want you to have Armor of Fortune or do I want to give it to someone else? Uh, you have... That's only if you're in melee. Okay, well in that case we definitely want you in melee, don't we? So, okay, let's do that. Dark right. Magic is mine. Decisive victory. I will take it. We'll take it. And I will... I'm just going to occupy terrifying mask of it. I don't think he needs it. I think he's genuinely pretty creepy as it is. And we've got a growth building there as well, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted. Forbidden scripture is more research rate. I'd be mental not to take it. Let's do that. Let's get some more some more lads. Uh, that's not... I was, I was thinking that was that was undead raising. It's not. It's recruitment. Uh, so, oh, we've got some dire wolves. Now, dire wolves are, are doggos. I love my doggos. These doggos are probably a bit on the meh side, generally, but I do like doggos in general, so we will we will grab some of those lads. Um, and some more zombies, I guess, just to fill out fill out the old the old repertoire. So, we can get... I'm, I'm kind of thinking we maybe want to go Necratch. But... I guess I'll leave that up to a poll, won't I? That's, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because, of course, if you are a Patreon supporter, you'll be able to watch all the videos as they come out. It will come out for normal people, the non-Patreon supporters, once the campaign is finished, whenever that is. In the meantime, Patreon supporters will get it. I, I try and do two videos a week, and they'll get to vote on the next sort of like video. There's always, there's always something. Sometimes it's like completely inane. Um, but sometimes it could be quite interesting. The old polls. Oh, we found a student. Uh, that's, yeah, speed for Zombles. One of the major problems of Zombles is they are so fucking slow. So let's speed them up. Right. I think we're just going to book it. We're just going to book it over here. Now, public order might be an issue, but if we can get to Flayed Rock ASAP, take all this out. These guys don't like me, but fuck it. But we'll have to kill Kugath, which is a shame because I kind of wanted to buddy up with him. We could, I mean, yes, yes, he'd give me plague, but I think Gorst, one of his traits is that he's actually fucking immune to plague. Isn't it that what you've got? Neophyte. So immune to plague attrition. There we go. So he's immune. He's fine. We could, we could be friends, to be honest. Helmet is probably one of the best people to be friends with Kugath, but they're just from two different sides. It's like West Side Story, but with a pruny man and a big fatty. Less less clicking in the streets and dancing. I don't know if I say there's some dancing. Okay, can we reach it? Yes, we can. You are recruiting shit. Now, that might mean that you have a full stack in Scrap Towers. Still, let's upgrade you immediately, and then we will go... We'll go for it. We will go. In fact, do I attack? Wait. No, oh, never mind. It's fine. Uh, yes, you do. It, what is it? Is this going to be a, a field battle? If so, oh, shit, you've got poison wind waters. Where the fuck did you get them from? Okay. Otherwise, this isn't too bad. But still, we're gonna have to take out those poison wind waters. They will. They will not be friendly. We're trying to keep the mortars busy, 
with those fell bats. And it does seem to be working, although they're now taking a little bit of fire from uh, the gutter runners and night runners nearby. Although we have managed to get them to shoot their own their own boys. So that was fun. So the Cryptoras coming in on the flank. How big must that fucking mammoth have been? Like, Jesus It's huge. It's a big, big boy. Big mammoth boy. Okay, we're sending the ghouls in, and then we'll get the Crypt Horrors to flank around and charge, because they have slightly better charge bonus than the uh, the ghouls. And the Mortis Engine is actually quite a fast unit, at a speed of 48. It's much faster than the 23-speed the Zombles, but that's fine. The Mortis Engine has quite a chunk of health, reasonably good armor, and it can heal itself, so it's fine. And those Clan Rats are slowly getting sucked off by the Mortis Engine. Meanwhile, the Zombles have finally arrived at the front line, Gorse got a little bit tied up, but he's now turning up. We, they use some menace from below to intercept our zombies. Well, that's fine. We don't. We don't need it. Few, oh, good. Well, at, at least at least they're shooting at uh, at Gorse, but the dire walls now swept in from behind, doing what they do best and taking out that weapon team. So no more poison wind mortars for you. Meanwhile, the right flank seems to be fairly secure as we blob up there and take on some Clan Rat Spears. Sense seems to be okay. Gorse is in there. Of course, he does suck off as well. So he's sucking off a bunch of Clan Rats. Mortis Engine's there sucking. I mean, we're taking a little bit of fire here, but it's sporadic and uh, not very effective. Our left flank, where the Ghouls and Crypt Horrors are. I'm hoping what we can do is mop this flank up pretty quickly and then roll on down to the centre. Because what we don't really have at the moment is any any real damage. I mean, we can suck off, and that's fine, but it, it, it takes a while, you know? It's, it's a slow sucking off. It takes time to get going. So in the meantime, we just have to kind of like grind them down with, with zombie attacks, which which takes it a while. Of course, it should be said that um, the the Mortis engine, I think the Mortis engine does this, doesn't it? Does, does it give the bonuses? To, oh, maybe it's the... Maybe it's only the, the, the thingy-majig, the corpse cart that does that. Yeah, Vigor Mortis. There we go. So more melee attack and defense and uh, Vigor for our boys, which actually is really useful. So I guess that the corpse cart does have a benefit over the Mortis engine because that doesn't have Vigor Mortis. And Vigor Mortis is quite useful because obviously it gives you gives you more melee attack and defense. Also, in, like keeps your units fresh nearby. And there's nothing better than fresh zombies, is there? I see lots of uh, Skaven fleeing the battlefield. We've managed to sort of push through in the centre there. Gorst got 64 kills. We do need to get him into melee combat. He does have, he's got, you know, physical resistance, ward save. That's thanks to the armour. He gets regeneration. So he does heal himself up really quickly. He's pretty tanky. He's hard to take down. So you can just stick him in the, in the midst of a melee. And as long as there's not like an enemy character wailing on him, he should be fine. I'm trying to use the diable to sort of like hunt down fleeing units and make sure they don't return to the battle. They're not particularly good at that. They're fine. They're doggos. Um, they're mostly good at like taking out artillery and stuff. Got them surrounded there. And the crypt horrors and ghouls have indeed broken through on that flank. And now sweeping down the hillsides, wiping out everything they can get their claws into. It's got little engagements all over the, the battlefield, but we now need to deal with the enemy characters. They've got a lot of assassins here. And uh, Martin is having to hunt them down. They've been taking pot shots at the Mortis engine, but as I say, fortunately it can heal itself up. And also we could drop a heal on it if we wanted to. Looking at numbers, we've managed to kill over a thousand of them. We've lost about 500 of our own. But being that it's mostly going to be the summoned units, I'm not particularly worried. Okay, Martin's now dealing with that assassin. But there's a lot of rats in the way. Come on, get the fuck out of the way. Come on. Come on, come on, one on one. Come on, come on, let's do it. Let's dance, motherfucker. Come back here, you little shit. You son of a bitch. Alright, we've got 
We've got these guys kind of surrounded there. Units are freeing up all over the place. We've got the crypt ghouls and uh, crypt horrors sweeping down through the trees. Getting netted, which is slowing them down, but it's still fast enough, hopefully, to, uh, to deal with those gutter runners. The boys over here aren't doing so great. They've kind of like held the line, uh, but they haven't had any real support. This is it, unsupported zombies don't do so well. You need to support them. Support your zombies. Hashtag support the zombies. Com. Continue just to tank. Tank everything. These these guys have lost barely any health. And the Mortis engine now running down the clan rats, slowly sucking off their health. And there we go. With this army dead, I'm hoping we can march on Flayed Rock and take it out nice and easy. Easy. Easy, see? Takes a while for the zombies to arrive, but when they do, they, they don't really do much. But that, that's, that's fine, because they don't need to. I say, get the fuck out of my house. You slag. Okay. Uh, the bats survived, but I'm going to get rid of them. Death is only the beginning. Because uh, they take too long to recover. Uh, you know what? I quite like. That. I'm just going to get more zombies. Quite like the zombies. Okay, so the last settlement should be Flayed Rock. So we take that. What do we have here? Skeleton Spearman. Uh, I'm going to be honest, it's not that useful. Get rid of it. Oh, Power Stone. That is quite useful. And a Grave Digger. And Martin has got a horse so he can ride around on that. That'll be nice. Uh, that could be useful. But I kind of want to make my zombies more killy. Although, more Van Hal's Dance Macabre would be nice. Like, having the AoE for that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to give you Blade Master. There's no point in training the Zombles. Uh, it's very hard to train a Zombles to do anything. Dark apart from groan and chew people's faces. That, that's instinctive, though. They all, they're already on that. They don't they don't need more training in, in that particular... I mean, probably maybe some HR training. Diversity, that kind of thing. Dead race again. And more speed for Zombles. Thank God. They've now got a speed of 29, which is almost respectable. Almost fucking respectable. Okay, can we encamp? We do... Ah, okay, so we want to do that. So it's basically our encamp stance, but it also gives us Winds of Magic, which is quite nice. So we can do that. Head over there. Gorse has got another little... Ooh, Awaken from the Grave. Summons a White King. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's fine. Master of the... Oh. Summoning... Wait, what? 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 So what does this do now? Target range 200% for Awaken from the Grave and Awaken from the Grave upgraded. So that's Awaken from the Grave. That's also Awaken from the Grave. That's Summon a White King. That is Summon's Unit Grave Guard. Right. Okay. We also got Master of the Dead. We had that before though, right? I think. But that's now increased effect range. So everyone just heals up nearby, which is... That's fun. Good. Necromancy. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. So, let's us... Now, we want some more income, don't we? But more growth. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for the growth. Gonna go for the growth, and I'm going. Hello. Give me for not recognizing you, friend. I took you for another. Did you think I was like a prune that you had for breakfast or something? Okay, you actually quite like me. I wonder if we can be friends. Acceptable. If only. I could be friends with Cathay, guys. I could be friends with Cathay. That's so much fun. I could get artillery. <laughs> that would be immense. I love that. Holy shit. That's amazing. More melee defense for everyone. Yes. Let's grab that. I admire your Look. I'm a simple man. I see, I see Cathay Grand Cannons and I say yes. <laughs> because that's going to give my zombies a lot of cover while they're marching.
basically, I'm going to cozy no, up. They are I'm going to I'm going to cozy up to you. I'm going to help you against these dickheads. Wherever they're over there. So I'm going to be like, yes, I will help you. Let's have a trade agreement. Give me some money. Acceptable. That's right. I'm going to help you. Probably come back to bite me in the arse when they come right through and attack Nobly Gorge. But never mind. We'll worry about that later. Stick stick that there. And I go. Let's attack this. It says Pyrrhic Victory, but we're not going to lose anyone. And I hate fighting a Skaven Settlement. It's a pain in the arse, especially when you're moving very slowly. Okay, let's take that. It's right, they're destroyed. Good. Now we can pick... I think we need to go for the... I think we need to deal with Kugath next. That's, that's my hot take. That is my hot take. We're going to deal with Kugath. What are you going to do with Kugath? So, um, I don't actually mind increasing your leadership size, but I'm kind of thinking just heal, just heals for everyone is pretty natty, isn't it? And making you hard to hit. I think is fine. I don't quite know how Raise the Dead works anymore. Lich master. Do we need that? No, we don't need the buildings because otherwise we wouldn't have these guys. Can we? Can we got? Can we not get the higher level undeads from that now? I don't know. We do. Oh, blood, blood kisses. There we go. We got three. Ooh. So we can pick up. I think this is going to be my first poll. Like, what do we pick here? I think that's going to be the first one. At the moment, I don't necessarily want to recruit. I mean, although our army is dirt cheap, only costing 2k, and the zombies only cost 10 each. How much do skeletons cost? Uh, 88? Are you shitting me? The fuck, the fuck have I got those? Get the fuck out of here, you expensive bastards. No, zombies. They're dirt cheap. That's what we're having. Literally dirt cheap. I mean, you literally dig them out of the ground. I mean, I guess you do with skeletons as well, but apparently, apparently, they're a bit fancy. Fucking skeletons. Fucking Beyonce divas. I swear to God. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. Oh, good oh. Great adventure beckons. Yeah. Be wary though, for it's while the potential rewards far. are great. Yeah. So okay. Go on. Back in your box, you creepy old bastards. Right. Helmand Gorse is on the hunt. The Necromancer is desperate to reunite all the pages of Liber Noctus, a book that contains even more powerful enchantments than those written in its sister tome, the Libra no Necronomica. Alas, the Cult of Sigma has caught wind of Gorse's search and seek to thwart his efforts, tracking the pages to a site where centuries ago a Lemian cult placed them in a sealed casket and cast them into a deep gorge to keep them out of Nagash's necrotic hands. Following their lead, Helman arrives to see them already excavating the site. The Necromancer prepares an ambush to relieve the Sigmarites of the pages as soon as they've been found. Any forces reinforcements expected, though? I don't think... You know what? I've never played Gorse before. Genuinely never... Obviously, we're going to teleport, though. We're not going to be asked to walk. My puppet stars. That's nice. It's nice you've got some dancing. Do not believe the slander about me. I wouldn't, mate. I am my father's most honourable... I'm on your side. Genuinely, I'm on your side. I think we can be big old friends. Big old friends with a big old coked up dragon boy. Good. More melee defense for my boys. We've got 11 melee defense now. And we've got a vampire. Where's the vampire? Good-o. What are you, a tactician? Less attrition suffered. It's not bad. More leadership. I mean, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I, do have, I could merge these, but I'm not sure. Uh, I am going to give that to you. Have a student. Enjoy. Who wishes the red kiss? Try not to eat them all at once. Into the night. Okay, we'll get you to catch up in a mo. Um, oh, hello there. Oh, shit. Blood Knights. Oh, I'd be s I'd be fucking stupid not to, wouldn't I? Oh, hex race. Oh, oh, 
Oh, what else do we get? Holy shit. A Terrorgeist already? Fuck me. Okay, cool. Oh, I guess it's based it's based on the, the Vampiric Corruption, isn't it? Uh, dead raise again, plus 10% hit points for destroyed units restored after battle. Maybe it's based on that? I, I genuinely... I could, read, I could read the instructions, but I can't be asked to do that. It's boring. Uh, available mercenaries. Oh, didn't even know that was a thing. Fuck me. Okay, cool. Uh, so I should probably read the, the fucking instructions, shouldn't I? Ah, fuck it. I can't be bothered to read instructions. Boring. I would like another one of the, the Mortis engines. We do have a corpse cart. Corpse cart with unholy lodestone, which does have the extra hit points back, which is nice. They don't stack, though. Uh, Vargeists are always very nice. Tell you what, let's let's do some let's do some fancy things. So I'm gonna get. I feel like we might need some fast moving units. Fast moving units to deal with potential. I mean, flying units would be good as well. But the problem is, our zombies are so slow they'll take fucking ages to reach. So we'll grab them and them. I think. Just for the moments. My puppet starts. And we're gonna upgrade that one. Dead. And then we're going to kill these jerks. And then we're going to kill Kugath. I think we want... I mean, 20% physical resistance for our Zombles is... Vanguard deployment for Zombles? Fuck that. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Baby. Yes. Exotic animals. What's this going to give us? Upkeep minus 3% for terror geists. Recruitment reduction. Okay. Okay. We get income generators as well. And now we've got a trade partner. Do we want some exotic, or do we want to do something different? Uh, the Vampiric Corruption could be useful. Extra, you know what, I think we need to go for the growth, though. Because the sooner we can build up that settlement, the better, right? And it doesn't... Oh, hello, Kugath. He beat me to it. Do we just... Do we just get in there? Do we just get in there and kill Kugath? I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking we just go for it. So those guys are what dead. I think this is the best time. I say we just... I am ready. We just go for it. It's a very grindy battle. Uh, can we get anything... Trying to think what will be useful against Kugath, and to be honest, I think what we've got is pretty good. Maybe a Vog. The problem is they don't have great weapon strength. Mongols, maybe. Kind of tempted by the Mongols. Um. Alright, let, let, let's just go for it. Actually, you know what? Let's before we do that, let's find out. Is any who is at war you're right, you're not at war with anyone. I will make your flesh writhe and boil with unspeakable fiction. Oh, you sweet boy. Alright. Alright, let's just go for it then. We're gonna try and kill Kugath. My cruelty knows no limits. It's a bit balls to the wall. It says Pyrrhic Victory, though. He does just have a shit ton of Nurglings. Which are better than our Zombles. We've both got Plague. Uh, poison, even. Attacks. Poison attacks. You do you do, you do, all magical attacks, aren't you? I think dealing with Kugath early is probably the best option. We're just going to kill a lot of my Zombles if I ought to resolve this. But uh, I feel like giving Kugath the personal touch. Also, he's got a little friend there. Epidermis. What do you do? Tally of Pestilence. Effect intensity increases with each kill made by the units. Ha. Huh. Well, you're fun, aren't you? We definitely need to deal with you quickly. I think this is going to be a bit of a tough fight. Kugath has got a fair... A fair chunk of, of plague bearers who have similar health to the zombies, but significantly better stats. I'm 
sure it's fine. If we could just keep ourselves healed up. Now, what they have done is we've kind of got this little little gap between these rocks. I reckon we can bunch our zombies up into that. And if we can just, like, feed in the enemy army, then we can keep everyone sort of buffed and healed in the centre here. Meanwhile, we've got our cavalry on the left flank, the Blood Knights, Dire Wolves, and Hex Race. I think the Blood Knights could potentially take down Kugath. He does have quite a chunk of armour. My defense is 55, and he's got 10% physical resistance and a health potion. But these lads do have 50 weapon strength, plus 22 bonus large. So that is going to make their melee attack and their weapon strength quite quite chunky against little, its old Kugath there. So I think they're probably the best bet. Now, we are immune to contact effect, which means that basically... Although although a lot of Nurgle's units have plague attacks, they won't actually affect us, which means our weapon strength is unaffected, whereas theirs is, which is going to drag them down to our level, but mean they can't drag us down even further. I need Martin to take out Epidermis, because if he gets into the midst of my Zombles and starts racking up kills, that could be a real problem for me. That aura effect... 40% damage resistance. Nope. No siree. Meanwhile, the Crypt Ghouls are trying to create a little sort of like uh, a cordon, basically. A, a walled defensive area where then our Crypt Horrors can come in from behind and slam into these Plague Bearers and start doing some real damage. Good stuff. Meanwhile, Cavalry... The Diables moving in to attack the Nurglings from behind the Hex Race, charging in against the Plague Bearers and the Blood Knights, taking on some more Nurglings. And of course, some Plague Bearers at the same time. Doing some good, doing excellent damage there, racking up the kills. The Hex Race, I'm a little bit worried about Hex Race because they are, they are quite susceptible to magical attacks. And all of uh, the demons will have magical attacks, which means the Hex Rays are going to struggle here a little bit. But I, I think if we can keep them healed up, we should be fine. Meanwhile, Martin is is not in a great place. Both Epidermis and his Beast of Nurgle are just wailing on him. And uh, we're, we're keeping him healed. We're buffing up his melee attacks, but it's it's dicey. Diables coming from behind, taking out those Nurglings, and finally the Blood Knights charging in to engage Kugath Plague Father. Getting a nice surround there on him, and this is going to be a long engagement as the Blood Knights continue to just prod him to death, and he heals himself up. So we'll just keep, as long as he keeps busy, that's 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 fine. Hex Race charging into the rear of those Plague Bearers, trying to save Martin. Martin is just getting, he's, he's taking a lot of damage. But Epidermis is concentrating on him, which means he's not getting that bonus. Of course, keeping everyone healed and increasing their melee attack. Our right flank is struggling a little bit because this is where we have the least support. We do have the corpse cart over here, which is trying to maintain that flank. But our we're mainly, mostly concentrating on our left flank here, trying to deal with Epidermis, Kugath, and at the Beast of Nurgle. Elsewhere, I'm just happy to hold... The Marauders and Plague Bearers and uh, the Plague Drones at bay for the moment. Oh, Martin. No, Martin! Martin is so sad. He's, he's got low health and he's sad. I'm running him away and I'm hoping that's going to be at minus five. Okay, minus five isn't too bad. He's, he's crumbling. Come on, we'll heal you up, Martin. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Minus 40. That's not good. That's not good. Come on, Martin. You've got this. Come on. Get, get yourself. Just suck around the face. Get your, get your shit together, Martin, you fucking dick. Minus two. Okay, that's better. See, that worked. The pep talk works. Minus two. That's fine. That's fine. He's healing up a little bit. 13. Okay, he's, he's, he's managed to put himself back together. Good lad. Good lad. Good job, Martin. Meanwhile, Epidermis is still in the center of this somewhere. There he is. He's got 12 kills, which is going to boost him up a little bit, but not enough. And that, that Beast of Nurgle is getting, getting prodded to death. Now the fighting's evolved into little islands of combat. Kugath still surrounded by the Blood Knights. Well, the Blood Knights taking quite a lot of damage in return, but Kugath is going down. Slowly and surely. 
Martin getting back into the fight, charging in against those plague drones. It's like Gorse needed a little bit of help. I mean, he does have 54 kills and uh, almost 2,000 damage dealt as gold, which is pretty, pretty impressive. What about the Mortis engine? 69, the sexiest amount of kills. 1, 2, 2, 8. Very nice. Those plague drones going down with Martin dispatching them. And the Hexrays coming in to help out our poor beleaguered right flank. We may have lost a, unit, a couple of units of Zombles there, but... We're still doing okay. Kugath slowly going down. He's starting to he's starting to be a little bit sad about being surrounded by vampires. And they're slowly, slowly poking him to death. There he goes. Now he's sad. He's banished. Army losses. Kugath is going down along with the rest of his army. And just his mortal followers able to flee the battlefields. But he does take a long time to die, doesn't he? Just so long. Well, we did it. We only lost two Zombles, one of which isn't actually dead, so. Could have been worse. We got a reduced chance of plague spreading and more growth for the local province, which is actually going to be very, very useful for us. Although I was going to put it dead, wasn't I? Well, we've lost a Zomble, so actually this works out quite nicely. So you get in here and, I don't know, Get a spade to dig up more zombies. I guess that's what you're doing. No I didn't. I don't quite know how this. So right, so we've got. I don't have a raised dead spell on Gorse at the moment. This says it summons a unit of grave, but this. I don't. I don't quite. I, it, it's fine. We'll worry about that later, because I didn't have a. I didn't have a raised dead spell or ability. And this, that's Awakened from the Grave. That's Awakened from the Grave upgraded. But I didn't have, oh, fuck knows. Fuck knows. Kind of tempted. Aura of Supremacy may not be the worst thing to get, actually. Okay, if we can keep Kugath on the back foot, and just keep hitting him before he gets back up. Then we should we should be able to wipe him out fairly easily. That's that's my plan. We're gonna get heroic killing blow, Martin. That was too close, Martin. You scared me, Martin. We almost lost you. The only problem with attacking these islands is what the AI likes to do is sail over. We Dude, how much movement does this cost? Does this not cost any movement? I go. I'll I guess we'll still take attrition damage here. Oh, I should have raided is what I should have done. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. We can go and grab uh, Shattered Stone Isle and hopefully start offsetting this, this Nurgle corruption with our own lovely Vampiric corruption. It's all sparkly. Do I want to spread my vampiric corruption? Well, what I want is more money. And I think, for the moment, we're fairly safe, he says. These guys do not like me. You like me, though. I understand. But there are important matters to consider. Damn tootin'. Uh, you are not going to help me. At the moment. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with Kuga. That'll obviously, hopefully, imp I mean, I don't know if... If Coke Top Dragon Boy and Plague Fatty know each other. But if they do, they'll hate each other. So killing Fatty, Plague Fatty, will give don't us... Please don't do this, you dick. Ah, you motherfucker. You son of a bitch. Uh, right. We're going to need a new best boy. Or rather, maybe we wait until... Well, tell you what, what we'll do... What we'll do is we'll get Hans. Hans Gruber. Well, I mean, sure. Recruit a horde of zombies. Good o. Uh, 
and then we will not be able to reach that. What the fuck? What the- why can't we reach it? Oh, you son of a bitch. And why is- ra ra right, raiding takes 50%- oh, it costs 25% to- in they shall despair. Uh, This is the fucking worst. I, I take more- either I just eat the attrition or- I will attend to oh, I think we just eat the attrition. Starting my I need to get in there. Uh, time is of the essence. Rotten gifts. Physical resistance for zombies. Uh, how much money do we have? Not enough. Not enough to fend off a horde of fucking ogres. Which ones are these? Oh, these guys. Pig Barter and Bruin's End. I bet you'll declare war on me, won't you, you prick? God, I hate that guy. Seek. No fucking a trick. Okay, that will take that. Oh, we got a banner, the screaming banner, which is actually quite useful. Uh, let's occupy this one. Uh, of course, our tr oh, well, our, you know, our replenishment is actually pretty good, but we get less replenishment because it's an unpleasant climate. So apparently, the jungle isn't what we like. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. They're probably because they're eating camel testicles or something. I, you know what? I'm going to do this. That's right. I'm going to have super killy fucking, fucking lads. Uh, let's get replenished troops so we can replenish that. Are the ogres moving on me? What I'm going to try... Right. So, so, Nobly Gorge is, is quite far back from our front lines. Flayed Rock, I might just have to accept we're going to lose. Um, in the meantime, we did lose some zombies, didn't we? We did lose some zombies. You actually have reasonably good stats. You're, like, actually fairly tanky. So we'll grab you. And... Uh, unholy Lodestone. If we get couple of those. And then we have the units in Scrap Tower anyway. I, I think they'll struggle to hack their way through that. That gives us some time. We need some time to go and hunt down and wipe out Kugath. If we can do that, if we can be friends the Swan, with the coat top dragon boy, receives you. thank you. Thank you for receiving me. So be friends with him. This is going to be fine. And then we just need to wipe out Kugath. Then we need to swim back up and deal with these guys. But which point, uh, no doubt Imrik will have declared war on us. Probably Greasus as well. Problem. Problem is going to my gut. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, Greece is going to be a problem as well. So but we've got we've got a lot of problems. To be fair, there's a gold mine up there, which you know what, Master wouldn't mind a gold mine. I think I'm going to let leave. I, I don't think we'll be able to hold on to Flayed Rock. Mind you, they'll have to go around, won't they? So actually, Flayed Rock is probably safe for the moment. Negative growth, just. Just what I wanted, thanks. Yeah, so they'll actually, because they don't have any underway movement, do they? Do they? Do ogres have underway movement? I can't remember. My only concern is that this guy may sweep round and grab um, the Shadowstone Isle while I'm dicking about. But if we can grab Dragonfang Mount, that would be useful. I don't... Th I think they'll only be able to staff themselves with, uh, whatchamacallit's, nurglings, so it's not too problematic. <sighs> what I want is defences here. You dare. What I want is defences. I don't have defences, though. God. Also, I'm going to take attrition, and I don't really want to take attrition. I thankfully would take less attrition. I think if we... Can we reach that in two turns? We can. I think we take we take Dragonfang mounts, then we head back up to Dreadrock. We'll have to fight another army. But at that point, 
I'm hoping that we'll be able to spread enough vampiric. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Public order's not good. Thanks. It's not, it's not. You know what? I really tried to put my depravity out there, and it's so rare that people comment on it. I don't want to. Mm, no, we want defenses, don't we? We want, to, we want to save our pennies. We want defenses. If we can get that dragon. F whatever the fuck that settlement is with a unique port, that should give us some money. Although we'll get less money because it's unpleasant, because it's a jungle, and apparently it's all hot and sweaty and steamy, and we don't like that because we're a prune man wearing a big heavy robe. Okay, physical resistance. For the oh yeah, you're 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 on the move. Rude. Okay, we're gonna take Dragon Fang mounts. So just bop you, and we will occupy. So that's gonna give us four hundred and then eight hundred plus gemstones to trade, which is good. We're not gonna upgrade any of this at the moment because it's highly likely that we will probably lose it. Where is where is your army? You like to cl oh you're fighting Imerick. You're busy fighting Imerick. What the fuck you did to declare war on me then, you stupid twat? You fucking loony. What was that for? Um okay, we are going to get defenses here because this I mean ideally they can only come through here. So if we if we build defenses at, at at Scrap Tower, then they'll probably have to come through there. They might hit Shatterstone Bay, but they can't get to Flayed Rock. So that's good. And now our Zombles have 20% uh, physical resistance on top of increased stats, which is good. Vanguard, de I like Vanguard deployment for Zombles. That's why we're going this way. Good old Vanguard deployment. Plus, our Zombles are dirt cheap. 11. They cost me 11 income. That's nothing. Absolutely nothing. We could get Foe Seeker. Let's get Foe Seeker. And Idets, you can get a Spirit Leech. Uh, these, these ports... Are, what, are, what are ports bringing in for us at the moment? So we get 100, 300, and 500. You know what? That is actually pretty good. So if we get this entire province, each of these settlements has a, has a port. Um, so this could be a big moneymaker for us, even though it's obviously sweaty and horrible humid. It's just just not our place. Yeah, I mean, that is fine. Because we can come back up and we can bop you. And Hans can hopefully protect the port, this one, wherever this, this fucking place is. Shattered Stone Bay. If he can protect Shattered Stone Bay, then we can cut, we can squash them. We can squash them between a zombie, a zombie, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Spoke too soon. There's ogres. Never mind. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Everything dies. Yeah. I, I suspect they're going. You know what? If we maybe help out. You think like them. We will ambush. There we go. That's what we're doing. And I think we're just going to have to eat some attrition. Which I don't know if we want to do, but I don't think there's anything we can do about that, to be honest. It's fine. It's not very much. Hopefully we can get the ambush on them. Do we just go? Do we just attack them? I want the I want the garrison to come out and help. I think that's what I want. Fairly sure we can just overwhelm them with sheer weight of numbers. Do we do we have anything that's like good at killing large things? The terror geist would be nice, but we can't afford it. I think that's about the only thing we've got that's good at killing large things. So I I kind of want a black coach. What does this do? Gives flaming attacks. That's not really going to help us all that much. Magic attacks, again, it's not going to help us very much. So, to be honest, I'm not super concerned about that. Uh, okay, okay, here we go. Well, we got the ambush. So that's 
Good. It shall be so. This is not going to be a fast battle. First, we need to get the ogre's attention, which is what we're using hands for. Where's Hans Gruber? There he is. It's like, Kubi! Over here, big boys! And they all want a piece of the old wrinkly man. Uh, so they're charging towards us, whereas Hans Gruber is now making for the, the forest, which is filled with zombies. When we start in the haunted forest, this is a very fucking haunted forest. I mean, you can try. So the ogres are now fed. Now, the reason we're hiding in the forest is one, it's going to debuff the ogres, right? So large units in a forest don't do us good. Good. That's 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 what we want. Meanwhile, our zombies are all bunched up, and they're bunched up around Hans and around the corpse carts, all of which will give us extra uh, healing and obviously melee bonuses. So, with, with any luck, now the ogres, the ogres' stats are actually pretty shit across the board. But the only really good thing being their charge bonus. Now, what they, what the AI will try and do is cycle charge, which is kind of annoying because it means we've got to keep chasing the bastards. And obviously, being zombies, we're fairly slow. So we just got to keep like chasing after them, doing some damage, and wait, await the reinforcements currently approaching in about 30 seconds. These guys come in with some spears, there's some doggos there, all that kind of good stuff. So in the meantime, we're just going to be grinding some big boys in a forest. Damn right we are. Sick is it? We're starting to tickle away at their health. And not doing too much damage, but then they're not doing too much damage to us. And all the time, we're just like... Just, just scratching away at them. Just doing that little bit of damage. And keeping them from charging us. We should be fine. We just need to keep bunched up around those corpse carts, around Hans... We do have quite a lot of uh, Noblars in this northern part. Most of the Ogres have attacked this section, which is fine. The enemy, our reinforcements, and the enemy reinforcements, our reinforcements have arrived. They're now heading towards the, the battle with the Direwolves and the Felbats, obviously, in the lead. Now, we're going to chase... Now, we might chase them out of the forest. That's no, that's no big problem, really. Looking at numbers... They have lost a couple already. Now, we've lost a fair few more than that. But we do outnumber them almost four to one. So we're going to pull back into the forest. The ogres will chase us, obviously, into the forest where they get a debuff because they are large units. Which is what we want. Meanwhile, here come the diables and fell bats, and the rest of our units are on their way. I mean, the skeletons are a little bit faster than zombies, but not by much. So the ogres are kind of like spreading out, because I say, they're, they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to cycle charge. Which is fine, I guess. Uh, they are using... They are using, uh, what was it, Flock of Doom. They're using a little bit of Flock of Doom, which is a little bit, a little bit problematic, but it's, they're not using it too much, so we should be fine. The poor Noblars are completely surrounded. And they're obviously taking a little bit more damage than their bosses. So, looking at them, yeah, again, we're not doing too much damage here, but we just slowly grind them down. So, so far, so good. So, we kind of got two engagements going on. We got this one against the sort of like Noblars for the most part, and the enemy general in the midst there. Thor, Throg, Throg? That's Thorg. Thorg. And then we've got this engagement over here, where most of the ogres are sort of like just trying to engage and then pull out and then engage again. So we're gonna we're gonna throw our ogre uh, our diables into the ogres. So they're, they're gonna be quite effective actually, because they get that nice big charge bonus. So if we can keep them moving around, and particularly if we can use them to hunt down fleeing units. If there's fleeing units of ogres, we can use them to hunt them down and just finish them off. The fell bats take quite a bit of damage there, but they should be fine. And here come our reinforcements. Now this is uh, we do have a couple of units of spears in here as well. They're still not great, but they do get 14 bonus large. So that's another 14 melee attack and weapon strength, which obviously is significantly better than pretty much anything else in our army. Fuck. 
Bible's coming in front of the charge. And you can see, ooh, that, that's, 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 some, that's some big chunky damage coming out there. That's what we need, although they are going to return the favour. But we, we beef up our melee attack, and suddenly we're doing okay here. And obviously, if we're close enough to the, the corpse cart, it will heal us. So, the ah, there we go. We've got a fleeing unit of Ogre Balls. Perfect. We just need to keep this up. We can just maintain this, then we, we got this in the bag, basically. You can see that their numbers are starting to drop, and uh, ours seem to be going up. So they do have Throg there. He does have some uh, Thork, Thork. He does have some spells, so he does have the uh, the Flock of Doom, which is kind of a problem. But it's not doing too much damage to us, so I think we can just we can just weather that. So we've got this. Oh my god, it's like they've penetrated me. I've got that big old they're not blush schlong inside my zomble horde. That's not what I want. Meanwhile, the ogre's continuing to just like try and run further and further away to get that charge bonus. However, by doing that, they're isolating themselves, and then we can just surround them and pick them off, particularly like using the dire walls to go and uh, hunt down these fleeing units, like this one here. So we can just nom them or chase them off the battlefield, and once they're gone, it should be fairly easy to then come back and uh, do it all again. So you can see there's like a, a, a much smaller group of ogres over there. And meanwhile, in the trees, the Noblars trying to do as much damage as possible, but our Zombles just will not stay dead. All of these guys will have the Unholy Lodestone and Master of the Undead. So they're all healing 0.15 every second, which is keeping them in rude health. The, not, the Noblars just aren't doing enough damage to them to bring them down. So we're healing faster than they're actually doing damage to us. A few ogres breaking off, trying to get... We, we, we just outnumber them significantly at this point. And I mean, we haven't actually killed that many of them. But then you have to remember that a lot of the... We've actually done a lot of damage to the, the ogres, which is going to be the, the vast majority of the, the power of this army. If we can just take down these ogre bulls... There we go, another unit fleeing, and we can use Dire Walls to hunt them down. We've got the uh, Skeleton Warriors chasing down some even more. The Ogre Balls trying to chalk their way through some Zombles unsuccessfully. Looks like the, the Noblar Schlong is uh, withering. The Zombles closing the gap as they attack from all sides. I mean, you know what? The Zombles have actually got some kills. Look at that. 24. 24 kills. That's not bad. 24 kills and zero damage. And the enemy general is, is still trying to... He's, he's, lost, he's losing a lot of health and he's not super happy about how things are going. I don't blame him. So the, the few units of ogres still remaining are sort of scattered and uh, not, looking, not looking particularly healthy there. Got more units moving back from uh, hunting down these uh, these fleeing units. The Diable's doing doing great work with 30 kills there. The Doggo units are very good at chasing chasing units off the battlefield or killing them. At least trying to shatter them anyway. The Corpse Guts have done very little apart from just like heal people nearby. But that's, that's all they need to do. And of course buffing up a melee attack. So 12 melee attack and 16 melee defense on our Zombles there. I mean, that's not bad. That's all right, isn't it? That's fine. Eventually, our Zombles will have some armor as well. Once Gorse levels up a bit. It's just a sea of Zombles. Yeah. 
There's hands. Hands, uh, hands can just heal. He can't really do any damage. We need some damage spells on him, really. Uh, wind of Death. That's what we need. A little Wind of Death would be very nice. In the meantime, he's basically just cheering on his zombies. He's like, come on, guys. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. But just... You've lost your heads. Don't worry. We'll, 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 move, we'll move through that that particular incident in your in your own life. And uh, just just keep swinging wildly. That's all you need to do. Doesn't matter which direction, to be honest. Gonna, let's go some warriors. Where's the skeleton spears? They're around here somewhere. Are they there? There we go. The skeleton spearmen. So they're now they're now hunting down the the ogre bulls as well. This has been very grindy, but we definitely have the upper hands now. Look at this. Look at this. They're slowly being pulled down. See a lot of the Noblars have taken considerable damage. Now they're being attacked from the rear as well by spoopy units, which means a lot of these Noblars are not super happy and they're starting to rout. That is going to cause a mass rout in the Noblar hordes. And they start fleeing the battlefield. But having to do so through our hordes of skeletons and zombies. Not that, not that we're going to do too much damage to them, of course. We've only got one unit of Diabols. They're doing their best. But they're not going to be super effective by to hunt down units, which I am a little bit concerned about just how many how many ogres we've killed. It looks to be about half the army-ish. Which isn't too bad, uh, but could have been better. Like, these, these ogre balls down to under half health, but they've only lost, like, a handful of ogres. So, I'm hoping that we've done enough that... We can finish them off next turn. Wow, we fucked them. We completely fucked them. I mean, we barely lost any zombies. Plenish. How much money would we get? You know what? I think I'll take the cash. Hello. Oh, you're trying it again, are you? I genuinely don't mind losing all the zombies because I can't be bothered to fight that guy. Uh, I'll take the rest of the cash, thanks. So it's, like, it's a it's a 12 minute grind. I can I could live without having to do that again. It's half an hour of my life. And to be honest, won't this just, like, pile on the undead as well? Turn this into a bit of a, a big old pile of, pile of zombies. That we can just replace almost instantly. There we go. You still want... I mean, you're, you're all with Imerick, mate. Did you, did you take one look at Imerick and go... He's got dragons. Maybe if we fight the, uh... Fuck me, that was a lot of a lot of attrition. Uh, okay, we'll go here. We'll deal with this. It's a bit of a ball lake. Can we auto resolve that? What are we gonna lose? The ghouls and some zombies. Do I care? I mean they're quite elite zombies though, aren't they? They are quite elite zombies. I think I wanna try and keep my, my elite zombies. But first, the poll. The poll for next time is gonna be what bloodline what what bloodline of vampire do we want first? So we've got five blood kisses. So, I mean, we'll probably get six. So we go with what? What is the first? So I, I kind of the, the first bonuses are usually pretty good. Like the casualty replenishment rate for Sylvania, very very good. Character experience, really nice. Uh, research rate, twenty five percent, big boost there. And uh, more crit ghouls and ambush success charms, which isn't too bad. And the weapon, you know, the weapon strength of the cavalry is is okay as well. And obviously, we get a special lord, so we can recruit one of the bloodline, one of the bloodline vampires. So which two? So I'm going to go with the the two highest. The two highest in the poll out of the five is the ones we're going to go for. So do we want to get the the blood dragon, the von Karstein, the Lemian, the Necratch, or the Stragoi? Which two should we get? 
Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah,